Welcome back folks. So I'm going to start off this tutorial by going to elements and I'm going to place a tiger head on my workspace. Now this tiger head happens to have uh, an option to change the color, that orangey yellow color there in the center. I'm going to go ahead and click on the color chooser and I'm going to change that color to blue. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller like this. I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to grab this scratch element right here. Now this has a little bit of a red tinge, so I'm going to change the color of that to black, but I also want to add an outline that's blue matching with that uh, blue head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the tiger head. I'm going to click on the blue. I'm going to go to the the blue color and I'm going to copy that color code. I'll come back here to the scratch marks. I'll go to edit. I'm going to click on shadows and outline and I'm going to match the color with that blue by just pasting the color code I got from the tiger's head. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger like that. I'm going to grab this tiger scratch mark or scratch mark. I'm going to go position and layers and I'm going to move it in behind the tiger's head. I'll just move it up a little bit and I'll leave it like that. I'll make this a little bit larger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to share and download because I want a image that has a white background. So I'm going to download this page as a PNG and I'll re-upload it here. So here it is right here. And I'll make that a little bit bigger. Now keep in mind this image has a white background. Don't forget that. I'm going to add another page and on this page, I'm going to place some text. I'll put a capital T in there and I'm going to change the font to a font called yearbook solid. Just make that a little bit larger like that. I'm now going to place a rectangle on my workspace and I'm going to place this rectangle um, just behind my T. I'll go to position and I'll drag that square right behind like that. I'm going to grab my text and I'm going to change the color of my text to white. And I want to make it a little bit thicker, but I don't have the option to bold with this. So I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to click on outline and I'm going to change that outline color to white. I'm also going to make it a little bit thicker so that it's one solid T. I'll come back to my workspace. I'm going to grab that pink square and I'm going to make that square black. I'm going to come to share and I'm going to download this. I only want page three and I'm going to leave it as a PNG and I'll say done. I'll add another page. I'm going to bring that T in here. And as soon as it's done uploading, I'm going to remove the background. All right, I'm going to grab that T. So I'll copy and I'm going to paste it up here on top of my image that I brought back into Canva. I'm going to make it a lot larger like this. And I'm just going to position my T over the tiger. And I'm going to take that overlay. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to use duotone to make it white. So I'll choose the custom option and I'm going to change both the highlights and shadows to white. Now keep in mind that this is still an overlay, so it's not transparent while it might look like it's transparent because the background is white. 
and the overlay is white. But what we're going to do now is we're going to add a border around the T just so that we can, you know, clearly see that it's a T. So I'm going to back out of Duotone and I'm going to go to Shadows and I'm going to use the Outline feature and I'll leave it at the color black. Now you can toggle the thickness as thick as you want. I'll just leave it right about there. But you, we can now see that there is this border all around that overlay. And of course, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crop it out of the way. Like that. And now we're going to grab all this and we're just going to make it a little bit larger like this. Now we can see that there's a little bit of that tiger still there. And what we can do is we can just crop that head out of the way so that we don't see it. I'm going to add some more text. And in here, I'm going to grab this text and I'm going to spell out tiger, tigers, all in one word. And I'm also going to change this to yearbook solid. There we go. And I'm going to take this and just move this over here. Now we can put that here if you want, but I'm going to put it right there. Now I know you can't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm also going to add an outline. So I'll go to effects, outline, and I'm going to change the outline to match that blue. I'm also going to make it a lot thicker. I'm now going to go to spacing. And I'm going to tighten up the line spacing so that it, the letters are tighter together. And I'm going to make them a little bit bigger like that. All right. So I'm going to change the background color to gray because I want you to still keep in mind that we have that white overlay that's on top. So this isn't transparent. So I'm actually going to create two different options here. One that is, has a white background and one that has a transparent background. So I'm just going to undo making the background gray. I'm going to go to share. And I'm going to download, I only want page two, and I'm going to download this one here. I'm now going to change the background to gray. And I'm going to grab that overlay, and I'm also going to change it to gray. So I'm going to click on Edit. I'm going to go to Duotone or back to Duotone. And I'm going to change the highlights and the shadows to gray. So I'll grab my color picker and I'll change the shadows. I'll do the same for the highlights. And I'll take this white box and I'll just crop that right out of the way like that. And I'm now going to download this. This is going to be our second option. So I'll download, download that. I only want page two and I'm going to download. We're going to bring those two designs back into our workspace. So here is the second one that we created. So I'll just put that over here and I'll grab the first one, which is right here, which is the white one. So this one, we're actually going to make totally transparent in the T. In this one, we're going to make it so that the white background remains. So I'm going to grab the first one and I'm going to remove the background. That should leave only the T and the inside of the T background should be white. I'm now going to grab this one 
and I'm going to remove the background. And that should remove the background from everything, including the, the white area in the T. Let's change the background and let's take a look. So here are the two T's. And I now need you to vote. Which one do you like better? And what would you use this for? Would you use it for a t-shirt? Would you use it for a mug? Let me know in the comments which one you like most and what you think that you might use this for. And also, if you learned anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe, and turn your notification bells on. In September, we're starting up with live classes again. So if you are interested in joining live classes, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to vote in the comments which one did you like best. All right, guys, for now, I'll say bye-bye. Until next time.